All right, well, we um, went out to Indiana, Coach Bricky and I, and uh, one of our other coaches, and went to the draft combine a couple weekends ago, drafted okay. two players, one local player, mm-hmm. and drafted a kid from um, Texas, Arlington, Texas, who's a really great player, fit exactly what we're looking for. Okay. And uh, we've got our training camp roster of 24 players set to go. Training mm-hmm. camp starts January 2nd. Mm-hmm. It'll end on January 8th, and then we kick off our season in Kansas City on the 11th of January. Oh, wow. That's, that's so, so the first home game is the 19th, though, First right? home game is the 19th okay. and 20th of okay. uh, January. So a lot of people that are listening, probably maybe the first time hearing about the Raleigh Firebirds mm-hmm. and um, what the uh, the basketball league is about. Give, give listeners a little insight into uh, the Raleigh Firebirds League and what they, okay. where they play and you know what, what it's all about. Well, we're going to play uh, home games, all 16 home games at Southeast Raleigh High School okay. um, over on Rock Quarry Road. We'll play about four games during the week. Those games will be 7 p.m. games, and the rest of the games will be weekends. Okay. Our Saturday games are going to be 4 in the afternoon. Our Sunday afternoon games will be 3 o'clock. And uh, as we talked earlier, we're really excited about promoting STEM education to yes, yeah. the Wake County Public School, as well as other uh, students in Wake County. We've had great meetings with the individuals at Wake County, as mm-hmm. well as NC State and okay. Wake Tech. Yes. And they're all on board. We're going to have a college day where we're going to promote um, the colleges to all the high school seniors in the area. We're going to have a middle school game where we have a DJ come in called DJ Scientific. Okay. Uh, does work with NASA. So he's going to oh, be wow. doing the science behind the music. Yeah. And then we have a game for the elementary third through fifth graders. And the NC State Science House is going to put on a great STEM show at halftime of that game. Very